Toy technology is getting more advanced. So advanced that toys can listen to your children and even learn their deepest secrets. Welcome to America Uncovered, I'm Chris Chappell. This episode is sponsored by Incogni. You probably know that companies are collecting your personal data, but you may not realize just how many. And you have no idea what they're doing with it. It affects you and it even affects your children because now even toys are spying on us. See, toys have come a long way since the olden days. We've gone from just twisting and turning toys with our own hands to controlling them remotely. We're now in the age of smart toys. I don't just mean toys with a computer chip and a few pre-programmed functions. I'm talking about artificial intelligence. Toys that can change their behavior based on human interactions. Okay, but can kids teach their new robot friends to say, hasta la vista, baby? That's the future I was promised growing up. According to the World Economic Forum, the market for smart toys could grow to $18 billion by 2023. And according to transparency market research, by 2026, that market could grow to $70 billion. Smart toys are designed to be fun, and some of them are meant to be educational, too. Unfortunately, they won't protect you from other robots sent to kill you. They can customize learning based on data they gather about children. They can teach programming skills to children, and they can help children with disabilities develop cognitive, motor, and social skills. It's like having fun, talking, with someone, it's like your imaginary friend. And you can talk with him so much, and but he listens to you. He's listening to you. They actually listen to you? Forget kids, a lot of women will want one of these too. Of course, there's a terrifying downside to all this. The companies that program these machines are also using them to create profiles of all their users. How else can the toys remember they're humans? The problem is hackers can potentially access all that information too. Amazon's Alexa is a good example. You may think it only turns on when you say Alexa, but it never stops listening to you. How else do you think it knows to activate when you say Alexa? It's always listening. It's kind of like the monsters from A Quiet Place, but instead of killing you, it'll start sending you targeted ads for Steve Harvey and Dr. Phil underwear. Oh, I wish it would just kill me. The same can be done with smart toys. I'll explain after the break. Welcome back. Smart toys are becoming a normal part of our lives and our children's lives. And when they listen, they create user profiles. I mean, look at those ears. I should have known Furbies were eavesdropping. Hackers can exploit these profiles to steal sensitive information or even worse. Smart toy scandals in the mid-2010s proved just how vulnerable children are. In 2015, toy maker Mattel rolled out this Hello Barbie doll that could talk with children. Meet Hello Barbie, the world's first artificial intelligence-enabled Barbie doll. I remember you said that you don't have a sister, but I didn't ask yet. Do you have any brothers? Yes. yes. The Wi-Fi connected doll remembers conversations, making her seem as though she's alive. But a security researcher proved that hackers can easily hijack Hello Barbie dolls. I was able to get some data out of it that I probably shouldn't have. Jakubowski says he has enough information to then access a person's home network and everything Barbie records. It's just a matter of time until we are able to replace their service with ours and have her say anything we want. This obviously upset a lot of parents because the last thing we need is strangers creeping on our children through a talking doll. Do you want a real life Chucky? Because this is how you get a real life Chucky. Backlash to Hello Barbie got so bad it turned into a Hell No Barbie campaign. It wasn't a good time for Mattel because the company was also responsible for another hackable smart toy, a smart bear. Researchers found that the app connected to the toy had several security flaws that would allow a hacker to steal a child's name, birth date, and gender along with other data. That bear could steal your identity. I remember the good old days when bears could only steal your picnic basket. 
But Mattel wasn't the only company facing smart toy scandals. In 2017, Genesis Toys faced major backlash because of my friend Kayla. The doll asked children personal information like their name, their parents' names, favorite TV shows, favorite meals, school, neighborhood, and toys. Also, what's your mother's maiden name and the last four digits of her social security? Okay, I didn't ask those last two questions. But anyone with a My Friend Kayla app could listen to the children from up to 30 feet away. According to a complaint filed with the FTC, Genesis Toys violated child privacy protection laws. They recorded and transmitted audio files without parents' consent, and it went to servers owned by Nuance Communications, a speech recognition and AI company. Nuance Communication also sells a voice recognition tool for military, intelligence, and law enforcement agencies. Now, I don't condone, but I kind of understand the government wanting to spy on the websites you visit. But why would anyone need to know that when Timmy grows up, he wants to be a fire twuck? Is he going to be the first human transformer hybrid? We gotta keep an eye on this menace. This toy was so controversial, a lot of countries outright banned it. German regulators classified my friend Kayla as an illegal listening espionage device. They issued a kill order telling parents to destroy it with a hammer. Destroying your kid's robot friend with a hammer, that's traumatizing. I'm still not overseeing my robot friend get melted. But it's probably for the best. A lot of toys that connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth often have security failures. And real-life hackers can end up leaking user details. Like that time Cloud Pets was hacked and data for half a million users was stolen. But now we have to worry about even more sensitive information. More after the break. Welcome back. Smart toys are a major threat to children's privacy. Companies have developed toys that can record and share everything online. And toys can do more than just listen and record. They can learn about you. Using artificial intelligence, Roybe is programmed with voice recognition, facial recognition, as well as emotion detection, all designed to make this a friendly, interactive toy and a learning tool for young children. This is our future. And I always assumed the robots that would destroy humanity would look like this, not like this. Honestly, this is just embarrassing for humanity. These smart toys are all about personalized experiences. They can adapt and learn about our children's interests and habits. But to do that, they're creating child profiles. These profiles can then be used for many different purposes, such as behavioral advertising, so sophisticated that it affects people's choices without them realizing it. Which is terrifying, because people already do things without realizing why they're doing them. That explains why anyone is still on Twitter. No one enjoys it, if they just keep coming back. We're entering uncharted waters at this stage. Things are only going to get more difficult for privacy protection laws to stay ahead of the curve. There could be major consequences from the data collected. What if the company that built Little Timmy's smart toy sold his data to third parties? And what if colleges and employers buy that information and use it to discriminate against him when he gets older? We're not going to allow any potential fire truck transformer hybrids into our institution. There are a lot of other ethical questions that we need to ask. If a child talked with smart toys about abuse or self-harm, should a company act on that information? With Hello Barbie, for example, parents can use an app to listen to their child's conversations, because they're all recorded. That's either really good or really creepy. Depends on the parent, I suppose. But definitely creepy is that Mattel's FAQ says that sometimes employees may review content of Hello Barbie conversations for testing and training. And if employees come across a conversation that raises concern about the safety of a child or others, They'll cooperate with law enforcement agencies. Obviously, there are a lot of potential problems here. Who ought to have the right to listen to these conversations? And who gets to make decisions about data privacy? Obviously, it should be the World Economic Forum. To address data privacy and cybersecurity concerns, they hosted the Smart Toy Awards last year. The Smart Toy Awards aims to spread awareness and help companies create more ethical, responsible, and trusted technology for children and youth. Yes, 
I definitely trust the World Economic Forum, run by this guy, to stop companies from invading our privacy. I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of miss the days when the worst thing we had to worry about in toys was Chinese factories putting in some lead. And if there was a smart toy nearby that heard me say that, I can now expect to get targeted ads for lead. And this episode has been sponsored by Incogni. It's not just toys collecting your personal information. Whenever you, as an adult, do anything online, there are companies collecting your data. Your name, your email, your home address, your social security number, your employment history, all sorts of things. What are they doing with your data? They're buying it, selling it, and trading it. And as I mentioned, these companies can get hacked. In 2018, hackers broke into T-Mobile and stole information on 2 million users. Things like encrypted passwords, account numbers, and billing information. And if big companies like T-Mobile can be hacked, so can all the smaller companies that buy and sell your data. This is why I signed up for Incogni. I discovered there were 76 data brokers that potentially had my private information. I had never heard of most of these companies, but they had definitely heard of me. Incogni forces these companies to delete your data. Just a few months after signing up, Incogni had already gotten my details removed from 19 of these data brokers, with 35 more in progress. And I didn't have to do anything after signing up. So check out Incogni using the link below, or go to incogni.com slash uncovered. The first 100 people to use the code uncovered will get 20% off. Get your personal data off the market with Incogni. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching America Uncovered.